hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core MVC application how to send an email to a gmail account and here we got the final output notice the header act send email to gmail using ASP.NET Core with MVC application the two subject and body now let's add in this example I have used the from and to address both are same Alan rupee at in at gmail.com and the subject is hello test mail and the body sending mail using ASP.NET code with MVC Now before send this email to this rnrupee.in at gmail.com let's log in to my gmail account click next And here I just logged into my email account rupee at gmail.com. Let's send this email send mail. See here I got a message. The mail has been sent to rnrupee.in at gmail.com successfully. Let's check in our Gmail account. Let's refresh inbox. See here we got notice here it's showing me because the to and from address both are same here in our application let's open the subject is hello test mail which is this one hello test mail and the sub body is sending mail using asp.net core with mvc so here that's it we have sent an email to a gmail account using asp.net core with mvc application if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial i'm creating a new asp.net core web application go to file new project and from the templates i'm selecting asp.net core web application click next Let's give the project name send mail to mail to gmail and this is my project name and the location I want to save in the D drive in the project folder click create and the time that I'm selecting MVC model view control and the version of ASP.NET Core I'm using 3.0 click create and the project is created successfully let's close this default window now open solution explorer first in this ASP.NET Core web application I'm adding a class in this models folder right click the models folder add I'm selecting class and the class name is email class click add and here we got our email class now in this class I just define the public properties and so the email prop double tap the properties are I'm adding two address subject and body so two is a string variable data type and I'm adding two and the next property string I'm adding subject prop double tab the next property also is a data type string and the property name is body 
after adding the properties into this email class now next open solution explorer let's add a mvc controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller and i'm selecting mvc controller empty click add the controller name is send mail is my mvc controller name click add and here we got our controller now in this controller first i'm adding the namespace in this using the first namespace i'm adding the models folder so first let's add the project name dot models folder then to send an email we require the package called system dot net dot mail package so let's uh, add that package also uh, system dot net dot mail package and after that if you notice in the controller we have the i action result index which is a get method but we are posting the data so we require the http post i'm copying this action result index method and this one is post http post method and then in the action result index i'm adding my class name which is this email uh, email pm is an object after that let's declare the variable string to is equals to em dot the property is true semicolon string uh, i'm adding subject is equals to em dot subject and the last one string body is equals to em dot body after that i'm adding the mail message class mail message mm is equals to new mail message and now in this mail message let's add the properties the mm dot the two dot add method and the add the two address i'm adding the two address the two address we are getting from this variable two so let's add this two semicolon mm dot subject is equals to uh, subject mm dot body is equals to body then mm dot from uh, from is equals to new mail address the mail address method that I'm adding my email ID I want the sending address so in at gmail.com this is my gmail account I want to send mails from this address mm dot is body html is equals to false and then after we got all the mail message properties like to from subject now we require the smtp configuration so i'm adding the smtp client let's create the object smtp is equals to new smtp client now here in the smtp client i'm adding my gmail smtp host smtp.gmail.com after that i'm adding the smtp properties first one is a port the gmail port number is 587 semicolon then smtp dot uh, use default credentials is equals to true and the next one i'm adding smtp dot enable ssl is equals to true now after adding the port host and the credentials now we require the network credentials like the gmail user id and password smtp dot credentials is equals to new system dot net dot and network credential in the network credential i'm adding my 
gmail user id uh, which is lnrupee.in at gmail.com comma and the second parameter is the password i'm adding the password just for the security reasons i'm not adding my real password but at the time of sending this email i will change into the real password then then after that smtp dot send method i'm sending the message from this object mail message object let's add mm now once the mail has been sent successfully i want to display the message for that i'm adding view back dot message is equals to the mail has been sent to um, em dot the two address the mail has been sent to successfully semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part so now we require the view page of this action result index but before that we must build the application first build build project and the project builds successfully let's close this output message box select the index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index only and the template uh, I'm selecting create template and the model class I'm adding the email our class name then click add and here we got our index view page and now what I'm doing and uh, this one the body instead of input label I'm adding text area and the rows I'm adding three rows and the columns is 15 columns and the input button control I'm adding the value send email And the last one after the due tag I'm adding hit file at once the mail has been sent successfully I want to display uh, this message so just copy this view back dot message copy that one and paste here that's it we have done the complete coding part to send email to a gmail account now before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name in our project uh, so to change the controller name open solution explorer in the project notice there is a startup.cs file open that one come to the bottom and notice here in the pattern the controller is the home which is the default one our controller name is send mail this is our controller MVC controller name send mail copy that one and paste here and the action result view page is index only which is this page that's it let's check the results browse with I'm selecting the Google Chrome set as default click browse And here we got the output. Oops, here we got some. Let's fix that one. Here the text area. We have to closely text area. And also let's change the heading also. Send email to Gmail using ASP.NET Core with MVC 
application ASP.NET Core 3.0 Tutorials that's it let's check the output again save the file I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output notice the header acts an email to gmail using asp.net core with mvc application the two subject and body now let's add in this example i have used the from and to address both are same alan rupee at in at gmail.com and the subject is hello test mail and the body sending mail using asp.net code with mvc now before send this email to this rnrp.in at gmail.com let's log in to my gmail account Click next. And here I just logged into my email account alanrupee at gmail.com. Let's send this email send mail. See here I got a message. The mail has been sent to alanrupee.in at gmail.com successfully. Let's check. In our Gmail account, let's refresh inbox. See here we got notice here it's showing me because the to and from address both are same here in our application. Let's open the subject is hello test mail, which is this one hello test mail, and the sub body is sending mail using asp.net core with mvc so yeah that's it we have sent an email to a gmail account using asp.net core with mvc application